I read that you were on a ski lift when the acquisition attorney called you and said, Barbara, they want to give you 22 million. I said, it's worth 66 million. Call me when you get 66 million. Six was my lucky number. I didn't want to say, call me when you get six million. So I doubled it, 66. I thought it would bring me luck. And of course, they came in, examined the books, the income. They worked like a devil inside my company, trying to justify the number. They never did. But in the end, they gave me 66 million, and I got such satisfaction at the closing with the big attorneys from major law firms on the other side. It was a conglomerate, all just dying to know, you know, why, why 66 million? I held it till that moment. I said, because it's my lucky number. <laughs> they thought it was like a left brain analysis yeah. thing, you know, but it was my lucky number. I proved it. The next morning, I went to the City Bike Machine, and I pop in my little cash card. I always got $200 a week and it was my day to get the $200. That was my pocket cash. So I popped it in. I hear that, ch -ch 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 -ch, that, you know, that sound that's yes. not so exciting to other people. But to me, it's printing money. Mm -hmm. But when I pulled out the slip, right before I threw it out, I looked at it and I had $44 million in my, in my checking account. What a thrill. I'm like, ah! I'm surprised like balloons yeah. didn't come out of the oh, sky. No. I was surprised I didn't get struck down by thunder and drop dead right on that spot. It seems so unbelievable to me. That's when it hit me. I'm in a different position now. I can do whatever I want.